Hey y'all, today we're gonna make hurricanes with Andrew. So today I'm gonna make my version of the famous hurricane, which is the famous drink from New Orleans. It was made popular in the 40s in post-war New Orleans by Pat O'Brien's famous bar on Bourbon Street. And I, I gotta tell you, before we do this, I don't like sweet drinks. I've had one hurricane in my life. I was not a fan, it's just not my thing. Um, so I'm excited to see well, this, if you win me over or not. This one really is, a, it's a fruit punch really is what it is. Okay. And I've tried to make it so that it is definitely fruity but it is not crazy sweet and it's practically healthy. You've got tons of antioxidants in here. So. <laughs> All right, you will need passion fruit puree, pomegranate juice, guava nectar, rum, one or two delicious kinds of rum, fun garnishes. I've got pineapple and orange here. Ice and glasses, preferably hurricane glasses. Passion fruit smells like it's gonna be crazy sweet, but it's really, really tart. Um, so you get all that fruit, but not all that um, cloying sweetness. A lot of old hurricane recipes or current hurricane recipes call for maraschino or like the crappy grenadine. So grenadine was originally made from pomegranate, so I am using actual just pomegranate juice. My base rum is just a regular white Bacardi. I just poured it in this so I could pour it easily. And then I'm gonna do a float of uh, pineapple rum. Again, it's not sweet. It sounds like it's gonna be sweet, but it's gonna give you just an interesting kind of aroma what's of pineapple. A, what's a float? A float is when you pour a little bit of extra liquor on top of a drink. Oh, I'm a fan of that. So should I, when I do shots, can I just call it floats from now You're on? just doing the float. <laughs> I'll have a float, hold the rest of the drink. <laughs> The Hurricane's named after these glasses, which are called hurricane glasses, because of the shape like uh, the old school hurricane lamps. So that's that. I'm measuring, you know, you can do it to taste as well. It's not, nothing's gonna explode if you do it differently. We're gonna start with one cup of guava. If you are using the can, do um, shake it up a little bit. You want that viscosity, it should look thick, not watery. A half cup of passion fruit, and I'm just eyeballing it, but you know, about half. About three quarters of a cup pomegranate. There's those antioxidants. Drink two of these every day. Frankly, this would be good just like this. It's delicious. Can I taste it? Yeah, yeah. Mmm. That is not too sweet. I like it. And then I'm gonna add just a cup of regular, um, this is just white rum. A dark rum would be nice. I don't think that you would want to use like Malibu or anything like that. I also don't think it has to be some crazy, crazy expensive rum. Just rum, whatever you like. And that is it. We're gonna do the float on the glass, you know, once it's in the glass. Oof. I'm gonna taste it one more time. Just cause daddy needs a little rum this morning. You need a little hair, honey? It's plenty strong, but it's not like knock your socks off strong. But it's gonna go down real easy when I'm floating down the river on the pontoon. Okay, so we're just gonna fill these hurricane glasses with some ice. And then I'm just gonna give that another quick stir. I think you could actually, for a party, you could put this in a punch bowl, it'd be really fun. And just do it like at one of those old school punch ladles. There we go. And for garnishes, I'm doing pineapple and orange slice. There's no orange in it, but it does go really well with the drink and a parasol, and since it's a hurricane, we turn the parasol inside out as <laughs> caught in a storm. You're so clever. Can we float now? Yeah. Can I do it? You do it. Pour okay. it kind of on top of one of the ice cubes so it kind of like, you know, right. stays on top. Say when. Am I failing? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Was that enough? No, put it on. Oh. Ooh. That's like a full shot. There we go. Oh my. That's a mock there like that All right. That one's for you. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, everybody, let's get drunk. You could really and pour it over a spoon as well. For better dispersion. Yeah, so it might actually float, but yeah, you know, you can kind of see it. It's, you know. Well, mine's heavy on the float. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pontoon float. <laughs> All right. Wait, we forgot one 
Oh. Really vital ingredient for a hurricane is your Mardi Gras. Meat. Are we gonna toast to um, virtual Mardi Gras? Yes. Cheers Thank you. to Bourbon Street. Yeah, you can see the float on there. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> yeah, that first sip is that's... just rum, but it's good. It's. I mean, that's why you put the good stuff on top. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Get. I want to get in, a yeah, because um, I want to taste the cocktail. <laughs> that pineapple rum is lovely. Mama's getting drunk. Mmm, that is delicious. Yes, I want this on my paddle board this summer. <laughs> Will you make these Well, if you put me? it in a thermos, I can just see you. Yeah, well, there you have it. Awesome. Hurricane Andrew. Delicious. Cheers. Ha ha ha!